NASA asteroid warning. It's tracking a one kilometer space rock and it's in rapid Earth approach. And they say that this, of course, if it strikes, would be tremendously dangerous, of course, for millions. An asteroid capable of causing global destruction, if it hits, is approaching our planet. And uh, it's uh, supposed to be around now. The U.S. space agency NASA found, this is by Sebastian Ketley, Express UK, NASA's automated asteroid tracking system spotted a potentially cataclysmic rock. It's dubbed 2002 PZ-39. It's estimated to measure up to 3,280 feet. That's one kilometer across, so that's pretty big. The asteroid is barreling through space at more than 35,500 miles an hour. That's 57,240 kilometers per hour. And at this speed, NASA said the asteroid will make a very close approach to Earth tomorrow, that is, uh, today. And according to them, any rock this big has, of course, a potential to kill millions if it impacts the Earth. NASA says if a rocky meteoroid larger than 25 meters, which is about, what, 70 feet, but smaller than one kilometer, a little more than half a mile were to hit Earth, it would likely cause local damage to the impact area. If they said we believe anything larger than one to two kilometers, one kilometer is a little more than half a mile, could have worldwide effects. The potential of such an impact from asteroids was outlined in the 2018 White House report on the so-called near-Earth objects, NEOs, National Near-Earth Object Preparedness Strategy and Action Plan warned that asteroids up to a kilometer across can initiate a chain of natural cataclysms which would be devastating for Earth. They said they can trigger earthquakes, they can trigger tsunamis, and other secondary effects that extend far beyond the immediate impact area. An asteroid as large as 10 kilometers across it's thought to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs about 66 million years ago. That struck in the Yucatan Peninsula of the Gulf of Mexico. And it's not just the asteroids that were uh, became extinct, but a lot of uh, life forms on Earth. So today, February 15, asteroid 2002-2002PZ39, expecting to approach our planet around uh, this morning. So it's obviously no problems. Uh, it has passed us. So uh, the rock was to swing by at speeds of about 15.19 kilometers per second or 35,567 miles per hour. Based on observations of the rock's speed and trajectory, NASA estimated the asteroid was somewhere around 1,443 feet in diameter, 1,443 to 3,248 feet. So both ends of the scale, if any impact was to take place, it would be, of course, absolutely devastating from them. Uh, thank goodness it didn't uh, impact us. Now, since their orbital paths often come across that of the Earth, collisions with near-Earth objects occurred in the past. We have scars of these on our Earth. Um, 50 alone in, confirmed in Australia. So since their orbital paths cross our Earth, collisions with near-Earth objects occurred in the past, and so we have to be alert to the, possible of, the possibility of future such impacts. And it's prudent to mount efforts to discover them, study them, characterize their sizes, and find some way to protect Earth from these events. But does the U.S. space agency NASA expect an asteroid to come this week? Thankfully, no. The uh, colossal rock will miss our planet by a safe distance of 0 0.3860 astronomical miles. And as we know, one astronomical mile, one AU, is about the distance between the Sun and the uh, Earth, which is 93 million miles. So this asteroid passes us more than, with more than 
3.58 million miles. And once it shoots by, NASA predicts it will pay a visit to the planet Venus June 14 of 2034. And after that, August 25th of the same year, it will make a close approach to Earth once again in 2034. So this will be coming back at us again around 2034. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.